Hi, this is Miss Anne from the Newcastle branch of the Pioneer Library System. I'm going to talk briefly about the artist Georges Seurat. Georges Seurat was born December 2, 1859 in Paris, France. He died on March 29, 1891 after a brief illness. Seurat is the originator of the post-impressionist style, pointillism. In pointillism, the color is not mixed on the artist's palette, but tiny dots are painted directly onto the canvas, and at a distance, your eye blends these colors together to form secondary colors. Let's do some art in the style of Georges Seurat. For this project, you will need a piece of paper, not too large, uh, this I think is probably four by seven, a pencil, uh, a blue marker, a red marker, and a yellow marker, the primary colors. We're going to start by drawing an apple. Give it a little bit of a dent there. You also don't want to draw your apple very large because this is really involved, takes a long time to do, and um, you'll get tired of it if you draw it very large. Let's give it a little shadow here so it doesn't appear to be floating in air. We're going to pretend like our light source is coming in from here. And so I'm going to start by doing the little reflection of the light on the apple here. This would be where the light would hit the apple first. And I am just touching the marker to the paper, drawing little dots. Trying to get the dots um, randomly placed. Don't want to have a pattern. And now I'm just going to fill the apple in with the dots. I'm going to have the dots more concentrated down here where the shadow would be on the apple and less dense coming up toward the shiny spot, the reflection on the apple. We're only using the primary colors, but we will blend them together and overlap those dots, and we will create the other colors that we need, the brown of the stem and the green of the leaf. And I'm going to just put as many dots until I'm satisfied with the density of the color. You really get a sense of why this style, this technique is called pointillism. You're putting little points of color on your canvas. When you're satisfied with the density of your color, you'll just stop. Now down here in my shadow, I'm going to make some blue in here for my shadow on the apple. Notice how my shadow gets thinner as I go up the side of the apple. I want to give the impression that this is got uh, three dimensions to it. If I was doing just a straight line across the bottom of the apple or up the top, it would look flat. And by having the rounded shape that follows the shape of the apple, the edge of the apple, it looks more rounded, more three-dimensional. Got the little dent in the apple here. Now in my shadow, I'm going to get a really dense color right here where the apple touches the shadow, fill that shadow in. Now when you sketch your apple, you'll want to sketch it really lightly with your pencil so that the color will cover the pencil marks. So what two colors make green? Yellow and blue. Now on my leaf here, I'm going to put both blue and yellow. My eye will blend those colors together. The farther away I am from the picture, my brain will blend those colors to make it appear to be green and not blue and yellow. So don't get discouraged if it looks to you like it's blue and yellow dots. Step back from your picture a little bit. Distance is what will make it appear to blend. And then finally, how do you make brown? Well, when you mix all three of the primary colors together, you end up with brown. So we're going to put all three of the primary colors on the stem. An apple in the style of Georges Seurat. Seurat's best known work 
a Sunday on La Grand Jete is huge. It's seven feet by 10 feet. And it took him many years to complete this work. To learn more about Georges Seurat, check out Georges Seurat by Ian Zakzik. On DVD, check out the series Great Artists, The Impressionists, Seurat. And Delphi Complete Paintings of Georges Seurat by Peter Russell is available as a Hoopla downloadable ebook.